Alright everybody, welcome back to the fifth and final installment of the character customization for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Today we're going to be looking at the Frieza Saga. Um, Frieza here, you get one choice. Um, I'll let you choose if it's male or female. I have my own preference and I know what the show says and everything, but uh, you can't convince me that Frieza's not sort of a woman. Or at the very least, just neither. Um, Alright, so, appearance. I'm very excited for this one. I think this is going to be cool. We're going to have a lot of cool options here. Let's make ourselves a tall, tall, thick Frieza. I like a tall, thick Frieza. Uh, head and hair. Ooh, some horn options. Oh, you can go with uh, a different head that didn't have horns. I like that. Mmm. A little point on your head. Very cool. Oh, nice. We're gonna go with these nice, cool blue horns. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. See what the eyes got going on. Uh, it looks like the eyes don't change. It's mostly just the uh, the stuff around the eyes. So let's go with this. Uh, lots of mascara look. That way we can tell when he's crying. Uh, you gotta change your pupils a little bit. Let's go with these. Um, Mm, go with a small pupil. Nose. Go no nose. Nee. Oh, there's like a second option. This is like a Voldemort, like slits. Like a snake look. I yeah, will just stick with the nose. Jawline. Ooh, cover up the mouth. No one wants to hear it. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> purple lipstick. You know what, I think I'm gonna go with this uh, this cool mask. I like the way that looks. Ears. Looks like just very variations of size and slants for these ear holes. Oh, um, maybe a little bit different uh, designs. We go with this slanted one. I like that slanted look. Very cool. So this is about as much character uh, customization as you can do on like the face and head. Um, and the body, let's see what about the skin tone. There's lots of different colors in his, his skin tone, so maybe we can make something that looks pretty cool. Um, so let's make a, let's make an orange Frieza. Let's do that. Let's make an orange Frieza. Let's just use different shades of orange. Maybe all orange isn't going to work. Maybe an orange and... Oh. Hmm, interesting. We'll get... You know what? We'll give it an orange and like a... Uh, this, this green color. It's ugly, right? It's ugly enough. Oh, wow. That's ugly. <laughs> Everything about this is going terrible. Uh, it's nice shaded like a red orange eye color. Let's switch it up. We go a lot of red eyes here. Let's do these nice, pretty blue eyes. Upper body. We'll just match that orange. Lower body. Uh, what are we gonna do? It's almost like he's not wearing pants at all. Like nude colored. Yeah, let's go ahead and make it black. Doesn't really matter that much, does it? Alrighty. And I'm not really seeing what is changing here. Alright, and feet finally. Last but not least, you can change kind of the color of your boots. Now we've got this kind of orange looking Frieza. Very cool. And finally, let's go to the voice. Let's see what options we have. Hey! Get lost! Sound like Krillin dying. 
All right, so that's uh, that's your options for Frieza, uh, how you can customize him. Very cool. Uh, you know, it's it's really cool that they've got these uh, customizations. I enjoy doing this this series here, this short series. Um, I really wish there had been more customizations um, as far as you know, like body styles and things like that, and even like um, hairstyles between like the Earthlings and the Saiyans. Um, I think my favorite class to customize so far has been the Namekian um, and Frieza just because they are not you know human based so they're a little easier to work with and they don't look stupid like the Majin class okay so uh, this has been the customization series uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure to like the video subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, follow us on Twitter at 2xpgaming